have said that there are many places. As the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Chairman, Vice Chairman, CEO and Deputy CEO and several officials from the Anti-Graft Body arrived at Parliament buildings to furnish the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee with a progress report. Mm -hmm. The ACC will in the next 14 days complete compiling three files that will be presented to the Office of Director of Public Prosecution. The files include the anglo leasing case in which 15 prominent Kenyans are being investigated. Two more files that the Commission did not delve into specifics will be ready in 30 days. We have three files which in the next 14 days the DPP must make a decision whether to prosecute because that is his decision. We will have finished our part. The three files are related with uh, the purchasing of security equipment, various security equipment for police force and for administration police and others. I beg not to go beyond that. So what is it that you've done? To... The ESCC has been criticized of sleeping on the job, an accusation the commission denies. The MPs questioning the commission's way of doing things, considering that they claim they do so much, but Kenyans are not aware. The anti-graft body says the 50 lawyers working for the commission are not enough to fast track corruption cases. We actually need more than 700 investigators. We have only 100. Yes. We, we need over 200 lawyers. We have less than 50. And out of that, 25 were just recruited one month ago. We have a serious backlog of our files, not at investigations level even, when we look at the cases we have taken up at our evidence analysis level for which we brought in 25 lawyers in January. The Commission is facing a number of judicial petitions, low budgetary allocation and frustrations in accessing and investigating corruption at county governments. We have, after we finish the big cases that are in public now, because of Mumias and uh, Geothermal and many anglo leasing and all, we have to go down to county governments. This message must be to everyone, so that we also don't give the risk that uh, we are only catching the big cases and letting everybody else continue with corruption. And I must ask this committee to assist us to show our political neutrality in a matter like that. So that's the only way we will be able to discharge our mandate. How you've been monitoring that? In 2014-2015 financial year, the Commission has forwarded 37 files to the Director of Public Prosecutions and recommended 34 files for prosecution. Seven of those were returned to the Commission for further investigations. Parliament gave the Commission seven days to comprehensively brief the nation on specific action taken on cases among them, the alleged corruption at the Geothermal Development Company, Karen Land Saga, Kenya Pipeline Company, Narok County Wrangles, and the infamous chicken get scandal and alleged corruption at the Mumias Sugar Company. When the Commission comes back to the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee next week on Tuesday, one of the most fundamental questions they will be answering is whether the Office of the Director of Prosecutions is an impediment to their progress as many Kenyans desire. Reporting for Ebru Africa, I'm Sam Gakunye.